I came to know the Lord Jesus in 1990 when I was six years old through my parents. At a young age, I was taught the Bible, was active in Sunday school, and many church activities. Even in high school and college, I was active in the youth ministry and surrounded my, myself with friends from church. I was also very diligent and duty-bound, compliant to all that my parents would ask me to. I wanted them to be happy by making sure I graduated on time without delays. After graduating from college, I did not take any time off to rest and immediately applied to different companies. And just a month after graduation, I was hired in corporate. Fresh off from college, I met my husband, Carlo, at work and found out he was also a follower of Christ. He had many qualities and values that we commonly share. We got to know each other and became interested in each other, so I introduced him to my parents. Early 2006, he met my parents and told them his seriousness in his intentions to marry me. Six months into our relationship, his father suffered a major stroke, which led him to work for their family business. And at that time, we understood that it would be challenging for us to have a long-distance relationship since he will be based in North Luzon while I stayed in Manila. Because I was very drawn and deep in my relationship with Carlo, I wanted to preserve the relationship despite distance. We then faced temptation fueled by my past hurts and disappointments in life, which made me feel justified to follow my self-will rather than following God because I felt that life gave me a raw deal and I was bitter. But that was very wrong of me. Our God is not one to be trifled with. And three years into our relationship, I found out I was pregnant. At that time, I found out that I was pregnant. My parents were in the U.S. And I was really struggling to tell them what had happened because I knew they would be hurt upset and really disappointed as they considered me trustworthy and reliable. I prepared myself to face my fear and told my parents right away, straight to the point, to tell them what had happened and ask for their forgiveness. I couldn't imagine the hurt and pain that my parents went through. They must have felt mixed emotions and their hearts were shattered into pieces. Because of the indescribable pain they must have felt when I broke the news to them. I was expecting them to scream at me, disown me, give judgment to me. But to my surprise, my parents were very calm and gentle as they expressed their disappointment. We were all crying and processing together what had happened. Carlo also asked for my parents' forgiveness and told them he was really intending to marry me right from the start, but we stubbornly went ahead of God. As we confessed our sin to our parents and family, we felt their grace, love, and forgiveness. We wanted to make it right with God as soon as possible, so with God's blessing and both our parents' support and consent, our plans to get married pushed through ahead of schedule. Despite the forgiveness from our parents and immediate family members, I still felt and carried the burden of guilt and shame, even if there was reconciliation and forgiveness. Three years after our wedding, we were given the opportunity to share our testimony to the congregation during four worship services in CCF Maine, where Carlo and I also took that time to ask forgiveness from our church family. Forgiveness is already done and given by God through the cross, but experientially receiving forgiveness from God through the people we know and do not know is God's way of letting me experience His forgiveness through them. That lifted the heavy burden and feeling of guilt and shame, which I clearly know was already paid for by Jesus on the cross. It was through the process of confessing and asking for forgiveness that freed me from the burden of guilt and shame and experienced healing and restoration. Our redeeming God 
has graciously and gloriously restored my relationship with God and with my family and even my spiritual family. Because of this overwhelming gracious forgiveness we experienced, I am always grateful that God has graciously and gloriously redirected our path by being able to serve Him through discipleship and impacting the next generation. My husband and I are ministry partners as active D-group leaders in CCF since 2015. And by God's grace alone, we are now 14 years married with two wonderful children whom we have been entrusted by the Lord to disciple and nurture. Praise God. I am overwhelmed by God's unconditional love and forgiveness that He has always been the lover of my soul who continues to pursue me despite my imperfection. I am Cheryl Batong Bakal C., a sinner saved by grace, but with the precious blood of Jesus, who is our greatest forgiver, who redeems, restores, and transforms lives. Be all the glory and praise. Thank you.